guys, how's it going? Uh, tomorrow we're going to take a ride to Stormville, New York. Um, what's really cool up there is they have a big flea market. It's on an uh, old runway, on an old airport that's closed. Uh, they convert it into a flea market. But tomorrow there shouldn't be too many flea market vendors. Uh, they close it down twice a year and have a giant yard sale. So everybody comes from about five different states and they have a big yard sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the van ready, get some stuff together, and we're going to leave early in the morning, and uh, we're looking forward to it, and I hope you're ready for an adventure. So one of the most important things about going to Stormville, if you're going to buy, which is what we're going to do, is um, the runway, the old runway, there's actually two runways side by side. They're about, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand feet long, you know, maybe a half a mile. So that's a lot of walking. So you can't necessarily just go back and forth to your car. So what you got to do is you got to bring a wagon. And I have a nice little fold-up wagon here that I picked up a couple years ago at a yard sale. And uh, it folds up. It's real convenient. So you kind of have to prepare for to, to bring everything with you uh, just in case it rains, in case you get thirsty. Uh, you got to have your money on you. You got to have a phone. I don't know whatever whatever it is that you think you're going to need if you're a half mile mile away from your car. Um, you got to kind of pack with you. So what we're doing is we're taking the wagon, um, and we're taking a couple bins here. A lot of times, if if you get some things that you think could fall out or you want to stack them up, you get a bunch of merchandise. Um, you're just going to put them in the bins, and then I have some some tie downs up there. Um, I'll put them in there, uh, and I'll have a little cooler, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready to go. So, again, we're going to leave early in the morning, and uh, it's about a two-and-a-half-hour drive from here, and um, it's going to be a good time. All right, so I'm driving on Route 209 uh, in Pennsylvania. Um, this is a stretch that's kind of remote. It's, uh, it excludes uh, tractor-trailer and heavy truck traffic. And I must have seen at least a dozen deer so far in different spots, maybe a possum or two. And uh, it makes driving a little bit challenging, so you have to be really careful on this road. So it's about 418, and um, we're making progress. Hudson River right there. It's uh, 511, and we just went through the town of Newburgh. It's 6:45. We're gonna take a little walk around and see if we can spot good stuff. Uh, a lot of people setting up, a lot of people coming in. You guys selling any Legos today? Um, yeah. Here, here. What more stuff I leave? I, I think that's it. Right. I'm not sure. Okay, okay thanks. Right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. How are you doing? How are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you doing? So how much is your amp? Ten bucks. How's that sound? Uh, does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't played guitar in years, so. <laughs> As you see the cobweb the cobweb. in my basement. <laughs> yeah, I see that, yeah. No, it works, it works fine. I just, again, you know, you get so busy, you just don't do that stuff no more. And it's an acoustic electric, so. I know.
what are you asking on your candles? Hmm? What are you asking on your candles? These? Yeah. These are uh, $3 a piece. $3? Yeah. 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 How you doing today? How are you? How much is this, ma'am? You don't have the cover for it, do you, in the front? You know, I have no idea what I did with the cover. When I saw the piano, I don't know if it was okay. in the bench or what. Excuse me. Hi. What are you asking for the Legos? Um, it's actually my friend's, but she okay. she just gave me the price on the phone. Okay. This bucket and this bucket, she said it's a hundred. Hundred. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just take a peek real quick if I could. No. Yeah. Of course. You open it up. There's a lot of. <laughs> Hi. How much are your trucks, ma'am? The trucks are fifty cents. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, so I got about two dollars and fifty cents there. How much are these, ma'am? Okay. Oh, I see. Three dollars. No, okay, thank you. Three dollars. I'll take um, two dollars for this. Okay. You have to disregard some of these. Things. Okay, I got gotcha. you. These are going to be on the place to sell type things. Yeah. Not here, me some place to sell. No, I didn't hear you say that. Okay, th th thank you very much. I'm going to kick it around for a couple minutes. Like thank you. Look like a with that thing. Uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs>
I knew somebody's gonna buy that dog. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, this place is starting to get busy, so I think we're going to call it quits, head to the car, and start heading home. Uh, have a lot of good buys, and we'll show you what we got a little bit later on. We'll go through everything. All right. Found a lot of good stuff early. It started getting busy, 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 and then things got, things were just getting bought up. And then it got really crowded. So uh, it's a little warm. Sorry for the, uh, the wind noise. I got the windows down right now. Uh, definitely worth the trip. Uh, I've got some great stuff. I'm going to show you guys when I get home. I'll pull it out and uh, show you what we picked up today. Um, but like I said, it got really busy towards the end. Uh, a lot of dealers mixed in with people that were having yard sales. I would say there was probably 60 or 70 percent of the people there were, were dealers. So um, a little disappointing in that regard. But in general, a lot of great stuff. One-stop shopping. You don't have to drive all over the place. You do have to bring that wagon with you. I had to empty the wagon three times. So that was pretty impressive. And even later on, even after some of the stuff was picked through, there were still a lot of good deals to be had. So uh, one of the dead giveaways to uh, spotting a dealer is look at what kind of vehicle they're driving. You know, if they have an old ratty looking van, uh, and then you see six weed whackers. Well, there's a chance that the guy probably sold a weed whacker one time, made some good money, and then decided he wanted to go into the weed whacker business, and then all of a sudden he's got six weed whackers sitting in the front. So, you know, the average guy, who's moving might be selling one or two weed whackers. So just a little bit of an inside tip there uh, when you go to one of these events. Okay guys, we're back from Stormville. I just unloaded the van, put her on the table so I could go through and show you what we got. Um, I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, let's start with this box up here. Uh, I walked up, there was a box that said 50 cents each toys. So I looked at it and I figured, well, I went through, there's like airplanes, monster trucks, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, Star Wars figures. I said, that looks pretty good. So I made the lady an offer and uh, I think we paid $15 for that. So there's a, like, and there was a big sign, 50 cents each. So I'm going to dig through that. I'm sure we're going to get our money back on that. That's a good one. Uh, got a lot of monster trucks yesterday. Uh, anywhere from 25 cents up to a, a dollar a piece. Um, they're good sellers. Sometimes the wheels are a little crooked and you got to straighten them out. That one, the wheel's just off a little bit, but that's an easy fix. Clean those guys up. Uh, everybody likes the little animals, um, zebra, elephants, all that plastic. But again, for the right price, um, it's a good money maker. Uh, Legos, We've got nice, you know, I asked everybody, you probably heard me asking everybody for Legos. It's a hot item. Um, we only managed to get this one bucket here. Um, it's a good bucket. You know, I, the first thing I started looking at, I wanted to make sure they said Lego on them. Of course, they're a little dirty here and there. But uh, the, the trees, the greenery is, is very valuable. So I started seeing some greenery. I started fishing through. I started pulling out little people. I said, that looks like a, a winner. And I just had to make a calculated guess uh, on it's probably... That's not Lego, that's uh, something else. But I went through here quite a bit and saw some figures, different things. So at 20 bucks, um, it was a pretty good investment, I think. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, of course, uh, Tonka trucks. Um, Tonka trucks are always a great deal. Uh, make sure they're not rusted. Wheels are rolling right. You know, kids get on them, ride them. But they're kind of indestructible, so pretty good. 
um, a whole bag here of uh, Bandai Power Ranger stuff. It's pretty cool. I did spend eight dollars for this bag, but these guys, you know, they're 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 always a good seller. So we're gonna go through clean those guys up. Bunch of balls, um, you know, basketballs, um, soccer balls. There's a football in there. Um, probably paid a buck a piece for those. Um, always a good deal. Um, baseball glove, nice Wilson baseball glove. It's a righty. Uh, you want to make sure it's not ripped or torn up too bad, still usable. Uh, I tend to like the, the medium to the larger size gloves. They, they sell real well. Uh, this one we paid, three. she wanted $3.50. We paid $3 for it. Nice Wilson glove. A couple baseball bats. Uh, I, uh, I stay away from the softball bats. Usually the softball bats are a little bit more squared up in here. Um, you can usually tell the difference. Um, I don't know, I might have paid $2 a piece for these guys. Uh, some Yankee candles, they smell real nice, Christmassy. Um, paid 3 bucks a piece for those. I might have done a two for five on those. Pipes, big time collectible. I don't know why, but people like the old pipes. Paid a buck a piece for them. Um, let's see, some mason jars there. Uh, just uh, some, for some decorative stuff, they you can do a lot of crafts things with those. Action figures, cars. I was a little disappointed with this little car here. He had the mirror busted off, but all in all, it's a, it's a Johnny Lightning. It's all die cast. Um, pretty heavy duty. Nice car. Uh, I think we paid a dollar for that. Uh, more monster trucks, Hot Wheels. Um, we got a, a nice wine rack. We got some Lincoln Logs. Uh, I tend to put all the Lincoln Logs in a, in a big bin. I sell them bulk uh, on eBay. That's a pretty good seller. Do that in the winter time. Uh, I think we paid $4 for that bucket there. Um, slot, let's talk about the slot cars for a second. What I usually do is I look for slot cars. These are relatively newer sets, but um, what I do with the slot car tracks First of all, I open them up, take a look, make sure that the slot car track pieces aren't broken too much. You're going to find a few broken. If I find any broken ones, they just go right in the trash. And I try to do a lot. Uh, like this one here is Tyco. Um, I'll just sell a lot of all the good Tyco pieces. Put those on eBay for one price. And then this one over here is Lifelike. So two familiar names. Um, but the gems in these boxes right here are the slot cars themselves. Now, I think I have the other blue one, because there was two to a set, and I think I just might have put it somewhere. Uh, went with that uh, shiny, metallic-looking red one there. And then the other two came out of the lifelike one. So, I have guys all the time asking me for slot cars. Um, they tend to like the older ones, of course, because they're more rare and they're, they're more valuable. But, um, <clears throat> for... In general, I just, you know, that's my slot car category. I get them, and they, they never seem to pass up on them if I give them the right price. So, uh, comic books. It was a great day for comic books yesterday. I started paging through here. I seen a couple 30 centers, a 20 center, like a Hulk, a Hulk and a Submariner. Um, they were, some of these are carded. Some of them aren't. Um, some of them are newer. Some of them are older. But this whole bin, the guy made me an offer of 10 bucks. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick them up, look through them, because that's always something fun to do. Um, so that was that was a good deal. I offered him eight, and he said, absolutely not. I only want to take ten. And, and I knew that was a good deal anyway, so we jumped on that. So we jumped on that. These here, uh, these were a little bit older, a couple 15 centers, a 20 center, but the ghost and the scary ones, uh, Witching Hour, these are, these are pretty good books. I'm going to go through them, Vault of Evil. That's kind of the things that I like to look at. So uh, I'll, look, I'll take a look at them first, check out the condition somewhat. Uh, I, I just picked up this Millie one because uh, uh, there's a lady that always asks me for, she says, if you see any Millie, pick it up. That's a 12 center. So that's, that's pretty old. And um, a Marvel Tales by, with Spider-Man, starring Spider-Man, 20 cent. So again, it's, they're not, you know, perfect condition, but they're not, you know, they're good. They're not bad. They're not torn up. There's no writing on them. They look pretty good. Uh, model kits, there's a uh, Miami Vice Daytona Spider model kit still sealed. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I think we paid $3 for that. And then we got Titleist uh, golf balls. I opened them up. They're all brand new. The guy said 4 bucks. He's got a 4 bucks. I didn't even argue with him because 
I think that's a pretty darn good deal. All right, so getting back here, uh, well, let's talk about this little keyboard first, this, this Yamaha PSS120 Portasound. Um, it seems like these little keyboards are kind of hot. Um, this one takes batteries. Now, you know, it was in a bin, a guy had it, and the first thing I do is I'll pick it up and turn it around a little bit and listen to see if there's any loose parts, you know, if any crackling or anything. And this one didn't have that. It had some stickers and stuff on it. So we're going to put some, uh, it costs $3. You know, I wasn't going to argue with that. If I put batteries in it works and clean it up, you know, it could be $20, $25 little vintage keyboard. Um, it's just retro, and for some reason, people people like these vintage keyboards. Just the little ones, and the big ones too, but this was it's easy to carry. It was there. We picked it up. Okay, kids' books. Got a nice pile of kids' books here from various vendors yesterday, various people selling. Um, you know, everything from... Winnie the Pooh and Disney collections, uh, you know, just about everything. Of course, Dr. Seuss is always good. Um, I always make sure there's there's no writing or marks. You can see originally this was $15.99 to buy it. You flip over the front. A lot of times kids will write in here. There'll be an ins ins I'm sorry, inscription. And um, if it's not in there, I think it's, you know, it's a nice clean book. If I can pick these up for a quarter and sell them for one or two bucks, or, you know that's a that's a pretty good profit. So we're we're always happy to find some kids books, and they display real nice, and they they sell quickly. So here's probably one of the big buys of the day. Um, it's got you know some dust on it. Oh, a little guitar amp. It's called the uh, Line Six Spider Three, and I just plugged it in, and tested it out with a piano that I have inside, and everything works. Works. Um, when I look at these amps. I make sure that the knobs turn freely. There's nothing broken on the knobs. If I push a button in, does it get stuck? Is it, you know, does it feel right? Again, I give it the old turn it around a little bit. Are there any loose parts? Um, is there anything loose, like that? any electronics that have been taken out and put back because there was a problem? Um, also, in the back here, I noticed, okay, we got a little bit of dust, but the speaker looked like it's intact, and it also had the little manual. So that meant somebody cared enough to keep the manual with it. Um, but again, I plugged it in. It all tests out, works fine, lights up, sounds great. So I'm pretty happy with that. That was originally the guy wanted ten bucks for it. I think I offered him eight, and he took it. He just wanted to get it out of his out of his garage. He said so. Very happy. That's probably the best buy of the day right there. I uh, looked it up on eBay, and that sells for anywhere between forty and sixty dollars. So once I get the dust off and everything, I'll probably keep that. And I have a Yamaha guitar I picked up uh, at another sale couple weeks back I just want to kind of mess around with it so we'll keep that for a while play with it and then we'll go ahead and sell it and then of course we have uh, a guitar stand here we picked that up for uh, I think this is upside down but we picked that up for about four dollars I believe uh, an old metronome metronomes seem to be collecting uh, demanding a lot of money um, of course I remember using a metronome when I was studying piano and I always tell people that it's a nightmare to see it but um, you know, these things, they keep time when you're playing. This one was functioning. It doesn't have the front cover, and I think it might be missing a bottom cover. But it was cheap. So, um, of course, as you adjust this, this adjusts the speed of the metronome. When you pull it up a little bit higher, it goes slower. So it helps you keep count when you're practicing the piano. And uh, then I'm surprised to find these guys here. These are um, audio books on tape. I didn't pay $4. You had them all... All on a big tarp, buck a piece. So I just picked out some titles that I might be interested in listening to. Um, and these are all CDs. A lot of times these things are so long, there's like nine CDs in there to listen to. But uh, they're nice on long trips when you don't can't pick up a radio station. So um, they're, uh, that was a pretty good buy. I was happy to find those. So in all in all, we had a pretty good day. Um, quite a bit of merchandise and uh, some toys and things to... To keep and check out and clean up um, so uh, it was a, it was a good productive day and uh, we're gonna get get into the process now of cleaning everything up hey guys that about wraps it up from here uh, we got a lot of cool stuff I got some cleaning to do uh, found a lot of neat items um, I hope you had a good time watching the video it was a it was a good time so I'm looking forward to our next adventure and we'll see you soon